Welcome to this video on Excursion from BM Premiere and strap in because we're about to dive into the tangled web of secrets and lies that is Shogun Episode 6. <laughs> titled Ladies of the Willow World. So first thing first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the spy in the village. Muraji, aka Toranaga's secret agent man, as we know, has been playing a dangerous game, feeding Into to his lord while trying to stay one step ahead of Kachigi's squad. But with suspicions running high and the net closing in, how long can they keep the charade? After they blame on the gardener, he's good for now. Personally, I think Muraji got a few more tricks up his sleeve. This is a guy who's managed to fly under the radar for years. Under the radar. Being as a simple fisherman while secretly gathering info on Toronaga's enemies. He's not about to get caught with his hand in the cookie jar for now. My guess Toronaga is going to cook up some sort of elaborate scheme to throw Kashigi up the sand like he has done until now. Or maybe, just maybe, Muraji will have to take drastic measures to protect his cover even if it means sacrificing someone else in the process. But the spy game is just one piece of the larger puzzle. The real wild card in all of this is Lady Ashiva, the grieving mother turned political powerhouse who's about to make her return. And let me tell you, this lady means business. The way I see it, Ashiva got her sight set on the ultimate prize, the Regency itself. With Toronaga forces in disarray after the earthquake and his alliance crumbling left and right, the time is right and ripe for a power grab. Ashiva could easily paint herself as a savior of the realm, the only one who can protect her son Birdride from the scheming warlords and their foreign dog. But to pull a coup like that, she will need allies. And who better to turn to than Mariko? The brilliant and beautiful lady in waiting who knows all of Toronaga's secrets. This is from the trailer and we can imagine that they're setting up this in a big way. Because this woman is about to shake things up in a major way. As a mother of the late Taiko heir, Ashiba holds a lot of power. And now that she's back in Osaka, you can bet she's gonna use it. So what's her endgame? It's simple. Ashiba wants to secure her son position as a rightful ruler of Japan. And to do that, she needs to take out anyone who is a threat. That means Toronaga, the regents, and anyone else who gets in her way. But here's the thing, Ashiba is not just some sort of passive figurehead. She's a skilled politician in her own right, and she knows how to play by it. And that's why she's aligning herself with the regents, even though they've been plotting against Toronaga from the start, by joining forces with Ishido and his crew, Ochiba can paint Toronaga as a real a rogue warlord who's a threat to the stability of the realm. She can connect everyone, including the regents, around her cause, positioning herself as the true defender of the Taiko's legacy. And that's not all. Remembers Ochiba's son is just a kid. He's just not ready to rule on his own, which means someone's have to step in as regent until he comes of age. And who better than Ashiva herself? If she plays her cards right, Ashiva could end up as the de facto ruler of Japan. The power behind the throne pulling all the strings is a risky move, but if anyone can pull it off, it's her. Toronaga's not gonna take this line down. He's a master strategist. He's a master strategist, and he's sure to have some tricks as well. But with his forces weakened by the earthquake and his alliances breaking, he's in a tough spot. And that's where Mariko comes in. As Toronaga trusted confident and translator, she's used to all kinds of secrets and strategies that most men can only dream of. If anyone can help him navigate this crisis, it's gonna be her. But Mariko got her own agenda too. She's been living in the shadow of her family disgrace for years, Haunted by the memory of her father's betrayal, joining Ashiba could be her chance to finally clear her name and claim her rightful place in the world. Of course, that's easier said than done. Mariko's still married to Bontaro, and her romance with Blackthorn is sure to complicate things even further. These are the questions that will be keeping us on the edge of our seats as we head into episode 6. Because let's face it, when it comes to Shogun, 
Nothing is ever simple. Loyalties are always shifting. Secrets are always being revealed. And the game is always changing. But one thing's for sure as well, the heir is a key to everything. Whoever controls him controls the future of Japan. And right now it looks like Ashiba got the upper hand. Will she be able to hold on to power or will Toronaga find a way to outmaneuver her? Will Mariko choose sides? Or will she create her own path? And what role will Blackthorn play in all of this? Now, thinking about the last line at the end of episode 5, the time for politics has come to an end. What does that even mean? Well, buckle up because I think I got a pretty good idea. See, up until this point, the power struggle in this show has been mostly a game of behind the scenes, scheming, and maneuvering. Turanaga, Ishido, and the other regens have been fighting for a position, trying to outplay each other with clever gambits and secret alliances. But now with Achiva return to Osaka, all of that is about to change. This woman means business, she's not about to be interested in playing nice or following the rules. For her, politics is just a means to an end, and that end is her son position as the ruler of Japan. So when she says this, she's really saying is that she's done with all the games, no more backroom deals, no more subtle power plays. From now on, it's all about direct action. And that should terrify anyone who's not on her side. Because Achiba is not just a skilled politician, she's a force of nature. She's intelligent, ruthless, and completely devoted to her son. If she decides you're a threat to the kingdom, you better watch your back. And there's the wild card of the Portuguese priest. This guy's been lurking in the background for a while now, but something tells me he's about to make his move. Will he throw his support behind Toronaga? Will he side with Ashiva and the regens? Something that we're gonna see in episode 6. The last section of this video is Blackthorn, who is now in a unique position in this whole new power struggle. On the one hand, he's sworn loyalty to Toronaga, the man who spared his life and gave him a purpose in this strange new land. But on the other hand, he's got some serious hard eyes for Mariko, Toronaga most trusted, confident, and the woman who's been teaching him the ways. If Toronaga and Mariko end up on the opposite sides of this conflict, where does that leave our boy Blackthorn? Will he stand by his lord, even if it means going against the woman? He loves. Alright, so we covered a lot of ground here from Oshiva dramatic power play to Blackthorn divided loyalties, from Muraji position to the looming threat of the Portuguese priest. It seems like everyone in Shogun is gearing up for one health of a showdown. But what do you thoughts? Leave it in the comments below. My description from Game Premiere, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.